Hey guys, KKG here. In this video, I'm going to show you things about your bag that you probably didn't know. If you have already mastered your bag, well, congratulations, you can just skip this video. But this is just a short video, so I implore you to watch it. Maybe you can add more information down at the comments, or share it with your friends who are new to the game. Let's get started by taking a look what's inside my bag. As you can see, it's full of garbage. And sooner or later, my bag will be full of items that I don't need to carry all the time. What is it that we need to carry? It's up to you really, but I like to carry meals for our stats, element converters, HP SP recovery items, items you need to use skills, and maybe in-game currency badges. Your character has a lot of bag space, but sometime in the game, your bag will be full of crafting materials and useless items that you can't sell without going to an NPC. Although your bag space may increase as you reach certain levels, and as your adventure rank goes up, you can purchase additional bag space from the adventure skill mentor. Just like this large backpack adventure skill. The problem with that is that some players have zenny issues, and it doesn't help that some players tend to spend their zenny on the huge amount of useless money sinks in the game. Good thing though, we have the Kafra stash. In other games, this is called the bank. And unlike the old Ragnarok, this bank can act as an extension of your bag, even if you are away from a Kafra NPC. Open your bag and let's see about each function. You will see the categories on the top of the window. All will show you all items. The second will show you equipment. The third will show you consumables. The fourth will show you crafting materials. The fifth will show you cards. The second tab is where you enhance your equipment. Select an equipment and click enhance. As your level goes up, the maximum enhancement also goes up, but the cost goes up for each level of enhancement. So only enhance items that are essential to your level. Let's go back to your bag. Pull it down to reveal three buttons. The right button is comb. This will rearrange the items in your bag. Since every new item will appear at the top, this is useful for inventory management. The consumables will be placed at the top and the non-essentials at the bottom. The center button is the sell button. This will instant sell all garbage equipment in your bag that can't be upgraded or can't be sold to the exchange. This function is very useful since you will be looting many garbage equipment in your adventures. The left button is deposit. This button says it will deposit stackable items between backpack and warehouse. If you are confused about this, don't be alarmed, you are not alone. Not only it is using obsolete spelling of deposit, the in-game info is lacking too. Here's how you can use it. Go to the nearest Kafra NPC and open your stash. Now that you have your stash open, you'll notice to the left that you have two kinds of stash. One is the stash which is your personal bank, and the other says sharing stash which is an account-wide bank. You can put any item here you like that isn't in black and white. Then all your characters in this account will be able to pick them up. For example, since this character is an archer, it doesn't need strength meals, so I'd put that in there for my other characters. I also like to put my stat and skill reset items in the shared stash. You can even put the Eden coins in the stash, but not the Mora coins. Take note that instant deposit to your stash only works in your personal stash. It doesn't work for shared stash. Let's go to your character's stash or solo bank. The in-game info said that it will deposit stackable items between backpack and warehouse. 
what it failed to tell you is it will instant deposit your items to your bank. And it will only instant deposit items to your stash if you already have a piece of that item in the stash. So first, you have to put at least one piece of that item you wish to instant deposit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Earlier, I clicked the deposit button to show you it's not working. To make it work, I will place some pieces of my items into my stash. But I will keep some in my bag just to show you how it works. While I'm doing this, if you haven't subscribed, please take this time to click that subscribe button and say hi in the comments. It fills my cold dead heart with joy. Alright, I've deposited some items and closed my stash. Now let's pretend my bag is full or I just finished farming for the day. I'll open my bag, switch my view to crafting materials so you can see clearly, pull down or swipe down to reveal the three buttons, and click deposit. Now all those items in my bag that already have pieces in my personal stash will be instantly deposited into the stash. Let me show you where they went. And there they are. Remember, you can only instant deposit items from your bag to the stash if you already have some of those items in your stash. It's weird, I know, but it's good progress. And hopefully, we can see bigger and better banking in future patches. But hey, that's not all the features of the stash. Remember, all of my crafting materials are already in the stash. We are going to craft an item without having to put the crafting materials in our bag. We can just leave them in the stash. But wait, remember that we placed our coins in the shared stash. Well, we will have to take them manually since the shared stash doesn't act as an extension of our bag. Let's just get those coins really quick. Now we can buy the blueprint and craft an item without having crafting materials in our bag. Remember, all our jellipies are already in the stash. Quick buy the blueprint, craft it, boom pack Ganern. Isn't this great? And to show you again, we don't have a single crafting material in our bag. They are all in the stash. You can also sell your items in the stash to the exchange without having to manually take them out. The Kafra NPC will take care of that for you. Let me show you how. When you sell to the exchange, the items in your stash will appear at the bottom with a blue house on your icons. Simply select the items you want to sell and proceed as usual. Just like they are in your bag. However, if you retrieve or off-shelf those items from the exchange, they will go to your bag instead of the stash. The only time you need to manually take items from your stash is if you need to submit them to a quest. Let's give it a try. For example, let's take this quest that needs 5 skills. And since I don't have any in my bag, you can see that I have 0 of 5 skills at the quest tracker at the right side of the screen. Let's head back to the stash and manually take 4 skills. Now the quest tracker says we have 4 over 5. We can also use the stash this way, just as an example. We can put the items for sale in the exchange and retrieve them to put them in our bag. Now we have 5 of 5 skills needed, and we can submit that quest to the quest NPC. 
Alright, that's it for now. I hope this video is informative. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Sampai jumpa. See ya see. Kop kun. Arigatou gozaimasu. Maayo nga bye. Put the tank in a mall.